What's up, guys? Matt and I are back uh, to talk about, to, to continue this series on uh, new client assessments and what we're looking at. And uh, we've talked about training. We've talked about rest. Next variable that we're going to look at is your current nutrition plan. And, you know, typically uh, I hate when people don't send you meal per meal. They kind of just, you know, don't give you too much information. They just tell you kind of what foods they eat sometimes and that's it. So give us a meal for meal breakdown. You don't have to give us the macros or calories. We can figure that out. But I want to know, um, you know, what is your, what is your meal plan like? And like, when, what is your, when are you training in that time? Uh, what is your food choices? I want to know, you know, what is your digestion like? Um, we're very big on, you know, I'm very big on gut health. Matt's very big on gut health. If you're not digesting your food uh, properly, you're, you know, you're not utilizing everything and everything is, is not efficient. The other thing that, that, the big thing that I'm looking at is I want to know, you know, what does your day look like? Like, what time do you get up? What do you do for work? Because, you know, I don't, I don't want to just send you a plan that I think is, uh, perfect for me. I need to make it feasible for you to follow. Um, so, you know, are there certain meals that we need to, you know, Matt's had to do this for me and I've had to do it for people. Like, you know, maybe you work a job that's super stressful and you're, uh, you know, you don't have time to sit down and eat a meal. You need to be prepared for stuff like that. So, you know, certain people, if we need to have a couple different options, you know, a, an option for when you have time and a, and a, and a quick option, stuff like that. Um, you know, are you, uh, are you doing, are you doing any carb cycling? Are you doing any type of uh, weird, uh, anything else? Um, you know, those are the things that we, that we need to know. Yeah. So, um, two points that Matt just made that I think are extremely important is for you guys to really convey to us what your daily energy expenditure is like, because that is so crucial in terms of building a, a diet plan that makes sense for you. So are you extremely active? Are you moderately active? Are you sedentary? Um, you know, where are you at within that equation? Are some days you're very active and some days you're not? That's also important. Are you somebody on that, that goes all weekend long and then has a desk job all week? These are the kind of things that we need to know. But really, I guess the, the biggest variable, again, like I want to approach this to you guys from the stance of how can I truly help you? So when I'm looking at a diet, um, I think one of the biggest misconceptions within bodybuilding diets is that all, you know, quote unquote, bodybuilder foods are friendly for every individual. You know, so when I go through a plan, one of the first things I'm gonna ask you is, how are you digesting food? Do you have gas? Do you have diarrhea? Do you feel bloated throughout the day? Um, because these are all feedback markers that tell me that something's off. And then within those feedback markers, one of the first things that I'm gonna address are the food selections and the food choices within your plan. And that's why I'm so big on being on a set diet, because if you're not on a set diet, making these alterations or removing foods or knowing what foods are impacting you negatively is a lot harder to do. But if you're on a set diet and things are off, we can easily manipulate those things to make sure that they're on. So just to give you guys a few key foods that I really kind of pinpoint initially, um, a lot of people have issues with egg whites. So that's one of the first things that I look like, you know, look at when people say, Hey, you know, my digestion's off or I have bad gas or I feel bloated all day long. So for me, it's typically egg whites, it's oats, it's potatoes. Those are the three things that I look at. And then also the other thing is, is whey, the quality of whey that you're using, the filtration process of the whey that you're using. So those are kind of the variables that I look at to take and you know start to do an elimination process with your diet. When I'm building a diet for somebody, I really like to build it off of foods that most people, generally speaking, have zero issue with. You know, So a lot of rices for me, protein sources uh, are pretty easily digestible for most people. I even look at the greens that I put in people's plan. You know, broccoli for one. Broccoli is a is a a carb a, a green source that causes a lot of digestive issues for people. So I typically leave that out. You know, even when it comes to vegetables that I'm putting in with people's plans, it really comes down to what you can digest the best to make you feel the best throughout your day, which is ultimately again going to drive that performance. Now I'm going to talk about performance a lot through this whole series because ultimately, like. That to me is what bodybuilding is about, is driving your performance up to have a better look to ultimately you know, represent and per perfect your physique in a better way. And that's where, that's where feedback comes in that is very important. You know, if there's, there's times where I'll put you know, something on somebody's plan and then you know, weeks go by and they mention that you know, they're having issues with a certain food digestion-wise. It's like, well, you, know, you, you, you should have told me that. So tell us, you know, I like to know you know, you, you should know what kind of foods sit well with you and what don't. I don't think there's, 
any any foods that are like irreplaceable you know like there's no foods that you have to eat yeah there's, a there's no must there's no must in bodybuilding no. other than you have to eat you have to train you have to recover yeah outside so, of that there's no blanket statements so yeah so i like to you know i like to use and i know you like to use you use foods that people enjoy eating sure for them within sure. within reason obviously you know um we can't you know people i ask them what they like and they put pizza donuts and ice i can't really work with that but you know, within reason. So we use, you know, we definitely use foods that people that, you know, that you would enjoy eating. Yeah. So again, when you guys are, are contacting us, um, a lot of this communication process starts out with you being aware to kind of know your biofeedback in terms of, okay, when I eat this food, how do I feel after it? Because ultimately when you guys eat, um, unless you're really pushing the calories up high, you should not feel any negative impact from that meal. Um, if you feel a negative impact in terms of like immediate stomach distension, um, gas within the hours to follow, uneasy stomach, like something is off and it needs to be adjusted. And there's, there's so many things that we could talk about, which ultimately comes down more to the long-term coaching process, like, you know, adding in digestive aids, probiotics, um, all these things. But ultimately, like if we can start off, I think the best thing that we can do is kind of manage your food choices, your food selection, make sure your body's agreeing with those foods, and then base everything else off of your feedback from that point going on.